Come on in, students. Find your seats. Let's get started. Come on in. I know we're all excited for science today. Everybody get in a seat. Is everyone ready? All right. I have a special announcement before we begin. The cicadas have spoken to me. They're telling me it is almost time. Soon, they will be rising from the ground to take over the world. Luckily, I'm one of the chosen few who gets to pass along their message. The end of the world is coming. Flee, flee for your lives, students. The cicada apocalypse is upon us. Ah, and now that I have everyone's attention, I'm just kidding, Jimmy. It was a joke. You can stop crying, okay? I was not serious. We are not all going to die from a bug-induced apocalypse. However, we probably will be seeing and hearing a word of cicadas in the coming days and weeks. So, what exactly is a cicada, you ask? Good question. The cicada, or more properly, the cicada morpha, is a member of the jumping insect family, distantly related to crickets and grasshoppers. Cicadas have very short antennas, along with very large wings and eyes, all the better to see you with. <laughs> Cicadas typically live in trees, however, one specific subspecies called periodical cicadas live in underground nymphs or holes. These cicadas only emerge every 13 to 17 years. And this is the year. This year, the Midwest is expecting to see billions with a B billions of periodical cicadas emerging from their underground nest after hibernating for 17 long years. This year's cicadas, which scientists are labeling brood X, is one of the largest broods of cicadas in modern times. Swarms of cicadas will be seen in over 15 states, including the following. I would mention to write this down. Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, Michigan, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, North Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia and West Virginia. I'd remember those states for a test. <clears throat> and once these insects emerge from the underground layers, <laughs> there is only one thing on their minds. Much like you, adolescent high school students, eating and attracting the opposite sex. Male cicadas are often very competitive. They are the ones who typically make the humming or buzzing noises we often associate with cicadas. They're trying to make noise to attract mates. Jimmy, stop trying to sing to Ashley. This isn't the place, and frankly, she's not interested. Give up. <sighs> okay. 
can't you see she would rather be listening to this very insightful science lecture, just as everyone else, as all of you should be, <coughs> moving on. And like singing humans who use vocal cords rubbed together in their throats in order to produce music, male cicadas have a special vocal organ called the timbal. When they flex this muscle, the cicada's ribs rub together, making their iconic sound. Ribs rubbing together. So, interesting stuff about cicadas. Fun fact, did you know that cicadas are actually edible? Yes, indeed. 17 years ago, the last time we saw these hibernating insects, a group from the University of Maryland actually created a cookbook with all sorts of delicious cicada delicacies, like cicada stir fry and cicada dumplings. Mmm, doesn't that just make your mouth water? Mmm. Uh -oh. It looks like it's time for lunch. Class is dismissed. I hope they serve up a heaping big pile of cicada treats today. Mmm, save me a plate. Thank you, thank you. And I hope you see plenty of cicadas. <laughs>